is pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Friends is funded in part by Kimberly Clark, makers of Huggies diapers, baby wipes, and training pads, proud to support the development of happy babies, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and the annual financial support from viewers like you. Oh boy, oh boy, we're here at the library. I can't wait to show you all the fun we can have here. Oh, come on. In we go. Hello, Ms. Stevens. How are you today? I'm fine, Barney. It's nice to see you again. Oh, Ms. Stevens, I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. Everyone, this is my friend, Ms. Stevens. Ms. Stevens, these are my very good friends who came to the library with me today. I'm happy to meet you. Welcome to the library. Boys and girls, Ms. Stevens is a librarian. She works here in the library. She can help find books for us and help in lots of other ways, too. I sure can, Barney. Here, let me help you with these books. Oh, thank you. I finished reading these library books I borrowed. I brought them back so someone else can read them, too. That's right, Barney. We all take turns reading our favorite library books. Oh, Miss Stevens, I can't wait to borrow more books to take home to read. Did you bring your library card? I have it right here. <laughs> you can borrow books from the library when you have one of these, a library card. But yours is a little bit bigger than the one we'd give to your friends, Barney. Oh, oops, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Mine is dinosaur size. <laughs> you can get your very own library card, too. It's easy. Just ask for one at a public library near you. Then you'll be able to read lots of terrific books and really use your imagination. That's right. When you read books, you can imagine you're in a faraway land or learn about a tuba in a marching band or travel to the stars or the deep blue sea. Even read Mother Goose rhymes. Just ask me. Why, Mother Goose is a friend of mine. I know she loves the library. Oh, at the public library there are whole rooms full of books about all sorts of things. Ooh, and what fun you can have with those books, oh boy! Oh, why, with one of those books and a little imagination, you can do just about anything! <laughs> You can have an adventure in a faraway land You can learn about a tuba in a marching band You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea When you learn to borrow books from the library But please, don't be loud Shh. So that everyone here can read You will be proud 
When you take a book home from the library You can have an adventure in a faraway land You can learn about a tuba in a marching band You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea When you learn to borrow books from the library But please, don't be loud So that everyone here can read Oh, the public library is one of my absolutely favorite places to go. <laughs> yes. Barney, let's show your friends a special place in the library just for them. Oh, goody. We're going to the part of the library where they have children's books. When we're in the library, we walk slowly and talk softly, and then we won't bother people who are reading. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, there are so many books here. Uh-huh. We have books about castles and tea parties mm. and rocket ships and teddy bears and fire trucks. Just about anything you like. Wow. We can read and really use our imaginations. That's right. <laughs> When I read, I like to pretend I can hear all the sounds of the people and things in the story. Oh, it's fun to listen to all the sounds around us. Oh. We can listen to the sound of a frog in the water. Listen to a mommy talking to her daughter. Listen to the animals playing in the woods. And listen to the sounds of our neighborhood. And listen to the sounds of our neighborhood. Listen with your left ear and your right. Listen to the sounds of the day and night. We listen with our ears, that's right. That's right. We can listen to the sound of a train going by. Hear the purr. so many sounds. If you like listening to sounds, I have a wonderful book about animal sounds, Barney. Animals? Oh, goody! <laughs> Let's see now. It's right here somewhere. Ah, here it is. It's a book called Good Night Owl, written by Pat Hutchins. Good Night Owl? I love to read that story to my friends. <laughs> this is a story called Good Night Owl. The writer and illustrator is Pat Hutchins. Illustrator? That means she drew the pictures. <laughs> Owl tried to sleep. The bees buzzed. Buzz, buzz. And Owl tried to sleep. The squirrel cracked nuts. Crunch, crunch. And Owl tried to sleep. The crows croaked. Caw, caw. And... Owl tried to sleep! <laughs> the woodpecker pet, rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat, and... Owl tried to sleep! <laughs> the starlings chittered, twit-twit, twit-twit, and... Owl tried to sleep! 
The Jays screamed, Ark! Ark! And... Owls tried to sleep! The Cuckoo called, Cuckoo! Cuckoo! And... Owl tried to sleep! The Robin peeped, Pip! Pip! And... Owl tried to sleep! The Sparrows chirped, Cheep! Cheep! And... Owl tried to sleep! The doves cooed, crew, crew, and owl tried to sleep. The bees buzzed, buzz, buzz. <laughs> the squirrel cracked nuts, crunch, crunch. crunch. The crows croaked, caw, caw. <laughs> the woodpecker pecked, rat attacked, rat attacked. The starlings chittered, twit, 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 twit. twit, 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 twit. twit. The jays screamed, bark, bark. The cuckoo called, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> the robin peeped, peep, peep. peep, peep. The sparrows chirped, cheep, cheep. The doves cooed, crow, crow. And owl couldn't sleep. <laughs> Then darkness fell, and the moon came up, and there wasn't a sound. Owl screeched, screech, screech, and woke everyone up. <laughs> and this is... The end! Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Barney. Yeah, that's the that was great. Oh, this is a wonderful book, Barney. Would you like to borrow it to take it home today? Oh, thank you, Miss Stevens. I sure would. <laughs> when you come to the library, you can borrow books to take home or read them right here at these tables if you'd like. We use our eyes to read at the library, but we can do more than that. Barney's right. You can use your ears, too. I love to play listening games. One of my favorites is listening to silly sounds. <laughs> it sure was a hippity-high jump, Barney. Oh. What? Hippity-high. Can you say that? Hippity-high. How about... Diddle-daddle-do. Diddle-daddle-do. Tick-a-tock-a-tick-tock. Tick-a-tock-a-tick-tock. Tick -a -tock -a -tick -tock. Yodel-o-de-loo! Yodel-o-de-loo! Yodel -lo -lo. <laughs> Yodel -lo -lo. Those are funny, silly sounds! Oh. oh, silly sounds get sillier when you hear them once again. And maybe you're hearing an echo, or maybe it's only a friend. Me oh my! Me oh my! Diddle daddle do! Diddle daddle do! Tick a tock a tick tock! Tick a tock a tick tock! Cuckoo coo! Cuckoo coo! Me oh my! Diddle daddle do! Tick a tock a tick tock! Cuckoo coo! Cock-a-doodle-doo Tick-a-tock-a-tick-tock Cuckoo-coo Cuckoo-coo Tickle-pie Cock-a-doodle-doo Tick-a-tock-a-tick-tock Cuckoo-coo Listening games are so much fun. <laughs> but uh, I don't hear any sounds right now, Miss Stevens. Well, the library usually is pretty quiet so people can read. Oh. But at story time, we have a special place just for children. Story time? Come on, I'll show you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Here's the part of the library where we have story time for children. Oh. Everyone sits here while I tell a story, mm -hmm. or read a book, or play a story tape for them to hear. So, we all sit quietly, and listen very carefully and use our imaginations. That's right, Barney. We especially use our imaginations when we listen to a story. Ooh. Barney, do you think we could hear one of those radio shows? Yeah. Oh, I think I can help with that if everyone will just have a seat. 
Oh, hey, boy. Just grab a chair and sit right down. I wonder what it's about. Everyone get comfortable, Belle. Oh, everyone comfy? Okay. Here we go, then. And now, Radio BRNY presents Imagination Theater. Today's story, Mr. Toodles and the Spooky Old House. One bright, mm -hmm. sunny morning, Mr. Toodles stepped outside. Toodly dum, toodly dee dee, tum tum, toodly toodly dum tum, toodly dee. It was a beautiful day, and he could hear lots of. <laughs> he walked to his mailbox and found something inside. He tore open. Hey, Bert. And he read these words. Tonight, come to the spooky old house, and you'll get a big surprise. Ooh. When the night was deep and dark, Mr. Toodles went to the spooky old house. Oh, it's big and dark and spooky. By the light of the moon, he could see the trees blowing in. The wind! The wind! The wind the sound sound effects. <laughs> and far away, he could hear... The storm! The storm! Yeah. Yeah. Thunder and lightning! Yeah. Uh-oh, I guess I'd better go inside. <laughs> Mr. Toodles walked right up and opened... The door! The door. Then, yeah, that's right. Because it was very dark, he stepped carefully inside. <coughs> oh, 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 sorry, Kitty. I didn't mean to scare you. Mr. Toodles looked all around, but he didn't find a big surprise. So he started to climb... Stairs, stairs, stairs. And when he got to the top of the stairs in this spooky old house, he opened another. A door, a door. And inside he saw. Why, it's a surprise party with all of my very best friends. <laughs> And so, Mr. Toodles had oodles of fun with his friends. Oh. Which brings us to the end of Imagination Theater. Thanks for listening. That story was spooky and funny, even without any pictures. Hey, that's because you all used your imaginations. Oh, I'll bet all the children like to hear stories, Miss Stevens. Sure, Barney. It's fun to use your imagination while you listen to stories like Three Billy Goats Gruff. And then you can act out the story with friends at home. My friends love to act out stories. <laughs> this is the story of the Three Billy Goats Gruff. Oh, goody. <laughs> One beautiful morning, the smallest Billy Goat Gruff... That's me. <laughs> ...wanted to cross over the old bridge. There's lots of yummy grass on the other side, so here I go. Chip, 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 chip. Stop! Who's that crossing over my bridge? Oh, it's the scary oh. troll who guards the bridge. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. When Billy Goats walk on this bridge of mine, I eat them up and they taste just fine. But you can cross my bridge today if you know the magic words to say. I'm too little to eat. Wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff. He's bigger than me. Well, okay. Then the second Billy Goat Gruff came to the bridge. Mm, that's me. There's lots of yummy grass on the other side, so here I go. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Stop! Who's that crossing over my bridge? When Billy Goats walk on this bridge of mine, I eat them up and they taste just fine. But you can cross my bridge today if you know the magic words to say. But I'm too little to eat. Wait for the third Billy Goat Gruff. He's 
bigger than me. Well, okay. And that's when the third Billy Goat Gruff came to the bridge. Oh. And he was the very biggest of them all. That's me! There's lots of yummy grass on the other side. So where I go? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trip. Who's that crossing over my bridge? Stop! Oh yeah? Why should I? Well, when Billy goes walk on this bridge of mine, I eat them up and they taste just fine. But you can cross my bridge today if you know the magical words to say. I don't know the magic words, but I am going to cross. Wait, it's okay. I'll tell you the magic words. Okay, what are they? The magic words are please and thank you. Oh, I should have thought of that. Okay, may I please cross your bridge? Yes, you may. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and the mean troll was never seen again. And the three Billy Goats Gruff... Lived happily ever after. That was very good. Yay! Oh, Ms. Stevens, you sure do make story time fun at the library. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. Let's see. You tell stories. Right. Or read books. Uh-huh. Or play a story on a cassette tape. <laughs> Are there any other ways you tell stories at the library? Well, sometimes we have puppet shows. Puppet shows? They're still appendus. <laughs> One day Goldilocks was walking in the wood You could tell by her look she was up to no good She found the empty bear so with a smile that she said I think I'll try some porridge, a chair, and a bed Uh-oh, uh-oh uh -oh. <laughs> The bears came back and were they surprised Papa Bear said I can't believe my eyes Mama Bear said Our porridge, my chair there's someone in my bed with curly blonde hair. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the little girl sat straight up in the bed. I better leave before I lose my head. Mama Bear said, This will happen no more. Next time we leave, we're gonna lock the door. Oh yes! Oh yes! You've shown us lots of things to do at the library, Ms. Stevens. And there's even more, Barney. Sometimes we make things with paper and scissors and crayons. That's one of my favorite things to do, too. Let's make some funny fish. <laughs> funny fish? How can we make funny fish? Well, this looks like a job for... The Barney Bag! <laughs> Well, I've been looking in my Barney bag And I found a lot of things Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends And even some old strings So let's ask ourselves the question What can we make today? <laughs> Everyone is drawing the shape of a fish onto some paper. <laughs> well, sure. Once you have them drawn, it's time to cut them out. <laughs> oh, and I'm so glad you're all using safety scissors. <laughs> uh huh. That's what makes them interesting because there are so many different kinds. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
putting some yarn on there. He's got a big eye. Oh, oh, just look at these funny, finny fish. <laughs> you all worked really hard, and there are so many different kinds. <laughs> Since we've got make-believe fish, why don't we have a make-believe fishing trip? Hey, I know just the place. Come on, everybody. Okay, great. Oh, you're right, Sean. This is a great fishing spot. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. <laughs> but it didn't really hurt that much. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. Oh, 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 oh I've got hey, something on the line. line. It, it feels like a really big one. Oh. And here oh. it comes. Baby Boss. Oh. Hey, that's my blanket! Baby Bob! <laughs> oh. Hi, Barney! Hi, everybody! Hi there, Baby Bob! Oh, here's your blanket! Oh, thank you! Oh, oh. I love my blanket! Oh, oh look! Fishy! Uh -huh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Oh, ten pretty fish. That's right, Baby Bob. Baby Bob can count to ten. I like to count. <laughs> so I... Ms. Stevens, could you help me with one more thing? Sure, Barney. That's why I'm here. What can I do for you? Well, could you help me find one of my favorite bedtime stories? What's the name of the book? 1098, written by Molly Bang. Oh, Barney, I think that book is right here. Oh, oh that's it. Thank you. This is another book I love to read to my friends. <laughs> 1098 by Molly Bang. See, here's a little girl sitting on her daddy's lap getting ready for bed. Ten small toes all washed and warm. Nine soft friends in a quiet room. Eight square window panes with falling snow. Seven empty shoes in a short, straight row. Six pale seashells hanging down. Five round buttons on a yellow gown. Four sleepy eyes which open and close. Three loving kisses on cheeks and nose. <laughs> Two strong arms around a fuzzy bear's head. One big girl all ready for bed. <laughs> Miss Stevens, do you know why the library is one of my absolutely positively favorite places to go? Why, Barney? Because there are so many fun things to do here. <laughs> the puppet shows, making things with paper and scissors and crayons, story time, and I love all the books. <laughs> all these things let me use my imagination. And when I use my imagination, I can be anything I want to be and go anywhere I want to go. <laughs> Just imagine, 
Just imagine, just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Imagination's fun for you. forget, you can borrow books just like Barney's doing. Just go to your library and ask for a library card like this. Then you'll be able to read as many books as Barney does. Here are your books, Barney. Thank you. You'll need to bring them back in two weeks, but I hope you'll come back sooner. Oh, I will, Miss Stevens. I love coming to the library. And you will, too, because reading is super de-duper. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? Oh, oh, this is the best birthday I ever had! I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you <laughs> Won't you say you love me too? Paramount Home Video introduces Paramount Family Favorites, a collection of memorable feature films, perfect for the entire family. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Today, what a day. Sky, hello blue. There's nothing can hold me when I hold you. It feels so right, it can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all week long. Sunshine, goodbye rain She's wearing my school ring on a chain She's my steady, I'm her man I'm gonna love her all I can What I found Rock and roll With all my friends Hoping the music Never ends These days are These days are Share them with me Goodbye gray sky Hello blue There's nothing 
can hold me when I hold you That's so right, it can't be wrong Walking and rolling all week long Look, I'm an owl! Please stop, please stop.